Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Teslandagong. This is a video log of my weekend trip from Bulangong to Canberra. We were traveling with young children, so we had pre-decided to stop at Gulburn more so for a restroom break rather than to use the superchargers as we started the journey with a full battery of 312 kilometers and Canberra was 250 kilometers from Wollongong. This is the footage through the beautiful Macquarie Pass. I had autopilot engaged for more than 80% of the trip. If you look at the consumption chart for that leg of the journey, you'll see that they are mostly orange peaks because the onward journey is mostly uphill. I have a separate video of a very lucky kangaroo who escaped getting hit by my car. Please check out my channel for that one. Across the road from the Gulburn Superchargers is the Gulburn Soldiers Club, which is under renovation at this time, but you can still use the toilets and the cafe serves some good short eats as well. Now on to the main event, Floriad. This is Australia's biggest celebration of spring. We've been here before, but this year was bigger and better. I must say, there is something for everybody to enjoy, but if you are a lover of flowers, you will really love this place. Post lunch, we decided to leave Floriad and go and check in. We were staying here at Vibe Hotel. We chose this place because there is a Tritium DC charger, which is commissioned and run by ACTEWAGL. Now this is the charger with a Chadimo plug and a CCS2 plug. Unfortunately, I could not use it because one had to pre-register and wait for the RFID tags to be sent to one's mail. I did contact the company via Twitter and they promised that they are transitioning to an app-based model very soon. After a quick break, we proceeded to the Cockington Green Gardens where there are fantastic miniatures which the kids loved a lot. By force of habit, I checked the PlugShare app and lo and behold, there was an EV charger here at Cockington Gardens. This was at Stripey Sunday, an ice cream parlor over here. I met Glenn, the owner of the shop. I let Glenn take it away. All right, hi, we're at Stripey Sunday. Uh, we've got a 32 amp EO mini charger here for public use and uh, I sell the best ice cream in the world. Uh, and uh, yeah, I own uh, home roasted coffee um, and uh, yeah, people can come in. Um, there's a, a bunch of attractions around the Gold Creek area with the Cognitive Green, the Dinosaur Museum, and the uh, Reptile Zoo. Fantastic ambience, great ice creams, lovely coffee, and a trickle charge as well. What more can you want? After a fantastic first day, when it was bedtime, we did plug in our UMC into the car to get a trickle charge going on. I have a separate video on how to use the UMC. Please do check my channel for the same. We started day two with a visit to the Canberra Superchargers. This is near the Canberra airport and is in a shopping precinct. So you can actually park your car, let it charge, and then go shop at places like Costco or Bunnings, and then come back and you'll have a full charge. There are lots of eateries in this place as well. It goes without saying that all of these chargers, both in Gulburn and in Canberra, are Model 3 ready with CCS2 plugs. I did use my CCS2 adapter to charge at this site. We started a quick tour of Canberra with a visit to the Australian Mint. It was very interesting to know how the coins are made, how the currencies have changed over the years and we also got to see the medals made for the Sydney Olympic Games. Next up, we went to the Australian War Memorial. This is a memorial for all the people who have laid down their lives fighting the wars for the Commonwealth of Australia. 
This is a place seeped with history. I love going here, but I'm always a little saddened whenever I visit this place. And then it was time to go home. But on our way back, we stopped at Tulip Top Gardens. These are private gardens where you can enjoy the flowers in a more relaxed setting, have a good meal, and then proceed on your way home. After a quick top-up charge at Galburn, we headed back home to Wollongong, tired but extremely happy. This entire trip had cost me $1 in charging fee because that's the deal I have with my energy provider and I do have unlimited supercharging in my Model X. Weekend travels in an EV is not only possible but it's loads of fun and your weekends are safe. This is Nash from Tesla and the Kong, signing off, peace.